In today's video, I'm going to share with you the top 5 teams in Madden NFL 20. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and in today's video, what I want to do is I want to share with you kind of my top 5 teams for regs in Madden 20. I know I talk about uh, playing regs and why it's so important, and to do that I want to talk to you specifically about the top 5 teams. Uh, teams that you can use in Madden 20 and why I believe that they are the top top of the top All right So the first thing that you want to look for when you're choosing a team in my opinion is Really you're gonna look at speed. So if we go through and look at all of the speed ratings Across Madden 20 one of the key attributes is how fast are their corners because if you have fast corners You can do a lot of different things in your defense. So with Tiger Kill being 99 speed. There's really no um, There's no cornerback in regs that I believe that can hang with Tyreek Hill you see here the fastest one is from New England at 95 speed and then the Cowboys even have some but as you can see here there's no real cornerback in regs that can hang with Tyreek Hill in fact there's really no one at all that can hang with Tyreek Hill so you're gonna have to rely on abilities and so defense honestly is all about abilities because again there's no cornerback in the in the game now if you take a look here You'll see the Texans have a couple of really good corners. The Steelers have some good corners. The Seahawks have some good corners. But also, the, the team that has probably the best secondary in all of Madden is actually probably the Ravens. You see here they have four guys with 90-plus speed. They also have Earl Thomas, and they have um, a bunch of safeties that you can use at linebacker. Now, the question would be, why are they better than the Patriots? Well, the Patriots probably have a little bit better pass defense. As they see here, they have one with 95 speed. They still have four in the 90 threshold, but they also have two safeties that have over 90 speed, and one of them has zoned out, and one of them has manned up. So the Patriots and the and the uh, and the Ravens are kind of the same. But really, to talk about teams this year, I would be wrong if I didn't talk about abilities. So let's jump into the superstar uh, X for X factors, and I want to talk specifically about what you want to look for in your team, and at least for me, what I would consider to be the top five teams in Madden NFL 20. But before I do that, I want to encourage you, if this video helps you in Madden, it's designed to help you get better, and if it does, be sure to join our Discord server, because after I get 100 people on our discord server i am going to release a free offensive and defensive guide to discord members only so you want to be a member of discord so that you can get the guide and also just so that you can talk with us about madden and kind of share what you're learning and how you're preparing for madden 21 all right so the number five team at the end of the year in madden is the new england patriots and here's why i put them at number five their defense is good. There's no question about it. In fact, their pass defense is pretty much great. As you can see here, you have Zone Hawk and Devin McCourty, Lumberjack Pick Artist. The only thing he doesn't have is zoned out. I would like to see zoned out here, but Zone Hawk does pretty good, but again, it's only when he's uh, X factored up. And then, as you can see here, you've got manned up ability with Stephon Gilmore. That manned up ability is basically going to allow him to shut pretty much everybody down in man to man coverage. On offense, you have a hot route master in Tom Brady, which means you can get some really, really creative plays and concepts. But the bottom line is, you can't really scramble with Tom Brady. So that's where I see a weakness. And that's one of the main reasons that they're number five. And also, the other reason is their defense doesn't have anyone that can really pressure them. So you're going to have to rely on blitzing. And there's really no one that can help you stop the run for all those reasons that's why they come in at number five our number four team in regs or head-to-head -head mode is the uh, Green Bay Packers and here's why the Packers are the number four team Aaron Rodgers is the best pocket passing quarterback in men 20 and it's not even close and here's why number one his pass release is the fastest pass release in the entire game it's actually going to come out about half a second faster than every other quarterback in the game he has pass lead elite which allows him to put the ball in specific angles he also has that gunslinger ability so it's going to come out even faster he still has dashing dead eye still has roaming dead eye so he's able to get out of the pocket throw on the run and all of those things so again if you're looking at just pocket passers just pocket passers in my opinion, Aaron Rodgers is the best in the game. You have Jared Alexander, who has manned up a really, really good ability. You have David Bakatari, edge protector. So he's going to help with the Nick Bosa's and the Danielle Hunters and all of those guys. Devontae Adams, um, he doesn't really have any abilities to me that are that great. But you have Kenny Clark with inside stuff and Zadarius 
Smith with Edge Threat. So the primary reason that I put these guys at number four instead of any higher is because I feel like they didn't really have anything that great on the defensive side. Yes, you have inside stuff, but they don't have like Secure Tackler. They don't have Enforcer. They don't have uh, a Power Move Specialist. We know how important those are in this year's game. So that's kind of why they came in at number four. All right, number three on my list is the San Francisco 49ers. And the reason I put the Niners at number three um, pretty much is because I think they have the best defense in the game. I mean, I think point blank they have the best defense in the game. In fact, Richard Sherman has zoned out. So you can put him wherever you put him. That zoned out ability is going to be incredible, especially on those deep blue zones. Nick Bosa has finesse specialist, which means that he's going to be wherever you put him on the defense, he's going to be able to get those quick sheds, quick moves in. Joe Staley has post up, which I mean, he's a good run blocker. This is, and again, you want to be a run based team when you're playing with the Niners. Fred Warner, but this is why Fred Warner has zoned out. So you have two players that have the zoned out ability, which basically means that you can put Fred Warner in a deep blue zone, you can put Richard Sherman in a deep blue zone, and that's pretty much all you would need for two thirds of the field will be covered. In combination with Nick Bosa with Finesse Specialist and D4 with Edge Threat. So literally, you have, you're going to rush with three or four guys. You're going to put Fred Warner and Richard Sherman in a zone. And you're going to use her the rest. That's one of, That by far is the best defense. There's no defense that's even close to the 49ers. 49ers is the best defense in the game. Bottom line. Even though the Seahawks are really, really good. And I'm, they're going to be an honorable mention for me. Um... Or they're gonna they're gonna be coming in in just a second. They're not as good of a defense as the 49ers. The number two team in the game, in my opinion, and this is a toss up. This is a toss up, and a lot of it depends on on this guy right here. I'm gonna put the Seattle Seahawks, and here's why: they have really fast receivers. They have three really fast receivers, right? They also have these two guys right here, Clowney and Wagner, both of which are going to have both of which have tackle supreme. And you can leverage them in like the 3-4. You can leverage them in the 3-4 bear to help you stop the run, which we all know how good running the ball is. And then on offense, you're going to have Russell Wilson, who has basically can do everything. He has escape artist, threat detector, dashing dead eye, agile extender. He's a very fast quarterback. He's, a, he's Lamar Jackson, but he can throw. He's Lamar Jackson, but he can throw. Now, he's not as fast as Lamar, but... In my opinion, Russell Wilson is up there, especially for my play style, and my play style is a little bit more pass-heavy. Honorable mention for me are the Minnesota Vikings, and here's why. I think Minnesota's better than most people realize. The only problem with Minnesota is they just don't have a quarterback, at least for me. They don't have a good quarterback for what I want to do, and because I pass the ball 90% of the time, it makes it hard for me to use these guys, but I really, really want to like these guys. Why? I think their defense is very, very close to the Niners because Harrison Smith has enforcer and zoned out, so he's going to help with the run game and the pass game. That's huge. And Hunter has edge threat. Okay, Same thing as D, uh, as D4 does. Everson Griffin has power specialist, though. So you get Everson Griffin in the nose, and then Daniel Hunter at the defensive end, and then you could throw Harrison Smith up there and one of the best users in the game in Anthony Barr. So your defense has got, you've got a really, really solid defense. Your receivers, Adam Thielen has slot apprentice. So you get some of that Patriot hot route master ability where you can put him on corner routes. Those corner routes from the slot and post routes from the slot and cross routes from the slot this year are amazing. I mean, it's pretty much the majority of the game, right? So this slot apprentice ability is really effective, especially for my offense, right? I, I love having slot apprentice. Slot apprentice allows me to run the air raid, I mean, to its fullest potential, in my opinion. Stefan Diggs, and this is what's actually really interesting about this, and this is what makes him just such a close, close, close honorable mention. Stefan Diggs has cross specialist and post flag elite. What that means is he's going to get better route running and catching on all crossing routes and on all post and corner routes. I run a lot of post and corner routes in my offense, so this is perfect for what I'm looking for. Perfect. The only problem is they don't have a quarterback. The quarterback, Kirk Cousins, has no abilities. He can't do anything. He's literally 
think it's going to stand there. And I find my quarterback is the most important player on my team. And even one one thing left here with this team, and this is what makes it so heartbreaking. Dalvin Cook has jukebox. Faster juke animations. We know how effective jukebox is. So they have all of the abilities. They just don't have a quarterback. Really hard, but they don't make my top five. One other honorable mention team that I did want to talk about um, is, uh, let me go through here. So you got the Steelers. Um, the Steelers are really, really good. But the other honorable mention team that I wanted to talk about um, today was the Ravens. And the reason that I didn't put the Ravens in my top five, you see they have zoned out with Earl Thomas, and they have manned up with Marlon Humphrey, but they just don't have anybody they can get pressure. And Lamar Jackson, like, yes, he has escape artist, jukebox, and fast break, but I'm a passer. And he misses a lot of throws for me. At least, at least he does for me. And the receivers just don't have everything that I need. And then, as you can see here, they have some. Sec they have a secure protector and post up, post up guy. But they don't have that whatever you know that one guy that can really do something for me. And then also the other team that I was going to mention alongside of these guys was the Philadelphia Eagles. And the reason that the Philadelphia Eagles to me are a very very close honorable mention. You have Fletcher Cox, you have Power Specialist. Their offense, you, Zach Ertz used to be able to get special hot routes. Now he doesn't anymore. But Brandon Brooks has Pass Block Elite. What Pass Block Elite does is it basically makes your entire – if you put Brandon Brooks at, Brooks at center, you're going to make your entire passing, blocking, pass blocking even better. And they, have, they just have a really good offensive line, right? Really, really good offensive line. But again, the problem, their quarterback's a statue. He has no escape artist. And escape artist is a critical ability this year. And also, they don't have anyone that can help you out on the defensive side of the ball. So that leaves my number one team in Madden 20. And what I believe will probably be the number one team in Madden 21, the Kansas City Chiefs. Why? Pretty much two reasons. Patrick Mahomes and Chris Jones. Patrick Mahomes and Chris Jones. Patrick Mahomes can literally make every single throw possible in Madden NFL 20. He has dashing dead eye, no look dead eye. No look dead eye is the ability to make perfect accuracy on throws across your body. How often have you been rolling to the right and you try to hit an in route that's coming across the field on the left side and it says, you know, inaccurate throw? This ability right here is going to allow him to make those throws. And then his X factor is bazooka, which allows him to throw even deeper than his arm will already allow him to throw. And then Chris Jones, power specialist under pressure. He is amazing. He's won me so, so many games. Again, you have to have power specialists. To me, power specialist is the most important ability on defense, and escape artist is one of the most important abilities on defense. I think dashing deadeye is more important on offense than escape artist, but, man, escape artist is really important too. And then you see here Mitchell Schwartz, edge protector, but here's one other little thing. And, and again, this is going back to my original conversation at the beginning of the video. Speed kills in Madden, and I talked about the Chiefs, and I talked about why Tyreek Hill has 99 speed. It's not just Tyreek Hill, though. McCall Hardman has 96 speed, and Sammy Watkins has 92 speed. Byron Pringle has 91 speed, so if you want to really sub out Travis Kelsey and go with an all-speed lineup, you can. They just have so much speed. They just have so much speed. I don't want to use other teams, but to me, no one. You can't play Tyreek Hill the same. You can't play Tyreek Hill and Patrick Mahomes the same. And Tyreek Hill, even though his next factor ability, the fact that he has 99 speed makes him the most, the most devastating weapon on the offensive side of the ball. As you can see, the closest second is Marquise Goodwin from the Niners, Marquise Brown, and then John Ross. But you see McCall Hardman's like the fifth fastest player in the NFL. So you have two players on your field that can over the top. In this game, where everyone's running press coverage, 7-7, seven, seven, you need someone like Tyreek Hill and McCole Harbin to take the top of the defense offense. Patrick Mahomes can take every single thing. He has a skip on his crossbody. Defense, you have Christians, you have a score around him. Frank Clark also is going to be good sheds. They don't have the pass rush abilities that the Niners have or the Vikings have. But again, if you're saying pressure, you know, and again, you have Chris Jones. Chris 
Falcons is the X factor for that. If Chris Jones wasn't on the Chiefs, they wouldn't be as good. If Chris Jones was not on the Chiefs, they would not be as good. But because Chris Jones is on the Chiefs, I believe that he makes them the best team in the game. And you see here, they have 91 speed corners. They have three, three 91 speed corners along with a couple of other good safeties. So Chiefs get my vote for the top team in the NFL. Again, this is kind of subject to a pass-based offense. So if you have a run-based offense, I understand why you may want to use the um, Jets or the Titans or the 49ers. But for me, if I'm going just on offense, and which I am, um, this team right here is the best team in regs and head to head in Madden 21. And I fully believe that in Madden or Madden 20, and I fully believe this team will be the best team in Madden 21. Thanks for watching this video.